This is the Transportation TV News Update. I'm Tony Dorsey reporting. U.S. Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox this week sent to Congress the Obama administration's six-year, $478 billion transportation reauthorization bill. Fox says the Grow America Act will increase investment in all forms of transportation to meet future demand. Additionally, the proposal ensures that taxpayer dollars are used more effectively and efficiently and brings federal transportation policy into the 21st century. The U.S. DOT is posting state fact sheets that show how much more transportation funding states will receive if Congress passes the Grow America Act. Find out more at www.dot.gov forward slash Grow America. In other news, AAA this week put the national average price for regular unleaded gasoline at $2.42 per gallon. According to AAA, consumers are paying two cents more than one month ago, but fractions of a penny less than one week ago, and one dollar and thirteen cents less than they did this same time last year. The national average has now fallen for 17 of the past 23 days. As gas prices fall, the number of people driving the nation's highways continues to climb. According to the Federal Highway Administration, Americans drove 237.3 billion miles in January, a 5% increase over the same month last year. That's the highest single month increase for any January since 2000, and it's the nation's 11th consecutive month of increased growth as measured by vehicle miles traveled. And speaking of vehicle miles traveled, on Wednesday of this week, Delphi Automotive ended a 3,500 mile journey from San Francisco to New York that the company bills as the longest single trip in an autonomous vehicle. On March 22nd, a Delphi team of six engineers left San Francisco in a modified Audi SQ5 equipped with Delphi design radar, cameras, LIDAR, and anti-collision software. Someone was always in the driver's seat, but this video posted on Delphi's website Wednesday shows the team celebrating after the car drove itself to its final destination in New York City. That's the Transportation TV News Update. I'm Tony Dorsey reporting.